Well, if you don't want to be in a, a certain division, I mean, if you belong, if you're in Iron and you can't leave Iron, you 100% belong in Iron. It's not a matter of your teammates. It's not a matter of how anyone else plays around you. It's just you're not good enough. It's as simple as that. You have to get better as a player. You need to not think about your teammates because your teammates are all different every single game, so the experiences you have will always be different. You have to be a good individual player. That's all it really is. Like, I know your teammates are sometimes the key to success, but when it comes to getting good at anything, typically working on yourself comes first. At least in gaming. I mean, if you can't leave iron, you are kind of trash. Like, that's an objective thing. If you're new to the game, that's kind of different, but you're still objectively kind of bad, but that's just because you're new. It's like, if people have been stuck in iron for years, you're just bad. You're just not... You're not learning anything. You're just playing blindly. You're not really thinking about what you're doing. You're just kind of doing it, you know? Which is fine if you enjoy the game that way. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you think you deserve to be a higher rank, you don't. Because you're not leaving iron in years, you know? Or seasons, whatever it may be. Like, this game really... Sure, your teammates can influence things, but... For as low of an elo as iron is, like, I could go into iron and just, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> you just gotta get good yourself, bro. Work on yourself. Work on how you can be better. Your teammates will be good, they'll be bad, but as long as you're consistent, that's all that matters. Well, low elo playstyles are different because players don't know anything. They're not playing the game properly. They're just kind of doing a bunch of random shit that doesn't make sense. That's why they can't climb. Once you figure out how to play the game, you're not low elo. Like, there is not a single thought through low elo players' brains as to how the game works properly. Just because they're not... Like, they don't understand the game, right? It's not that you're born a failure, it's just you don't know enough about what you're doing. That's why it's so bad. Like, League, any, any game, it's just knowledge. It's understanding what the fuck you're supposed to be doing. If I could go B with 1100 gold, although not realistic. I'm gonna be able to back, but with Cull, probably. Well, reading a guide can make you a better player, because information... Knowledge is king. 
right? Being out there and doing things in the field, hands-on, you know, that's one way, but, like, the knowledge of something can get you started on that path to kind of being better. So guides do help, it's just how you take that information. If you read the guide the and you don't do day, anything... League is just a game. Yeah, of don't course. Don't let it dictate your life or who you are. Just try to be happy and well. I mean, if you want to take the game seriously, there's nothing wrong with that, but, like, humble yourself, bro, you know? You're playing a game after all, it's not like you're better than anyone. It's not like you're Challenger Rank 1 and you're like, Man, get the fuck out of my way, I'm Challenger Rank 1. Nice. I get. I don't even think I get the assist on Akshan. Oh, I did. Wow. Not bad at all. Well, the thing about reading a guide is that it gives you the knowledge, and then it's up to you as to how you take that knowledge. Do you use it, or do you just read it, and that was it? It's uh, how well things retain, I guess is the way to put it. How well you retain things. Are you kidding me? It didn't actually get him? It's so lame. Oh, you know what? I got ignited by Pike last time. Then he ignited me. So I died to... I literally died to Pike. I thought I died to Akshon. That's unlucky. Nice. Yeah. Well, that's what I was saying. I didn't realize. I thought Akshan had killed me. I thought he got a kill. But he didn't. Unfortunately, this champion is just kind of objectively good in lane. At least against GP. Against TF, it's not that good. If we scale, though, we do win. I can destroy Akshan. Just kind of a matter of getting places.
Like, if Karthus presses R and I just do one combo, I think we just 2v9 the game. Or 2v8. Killing Akshan is always a highlight. Yeah, because he, he, killing Akshan is like killing three people at once. Character is so statted out of its mind with like the most gimmicky abilities. Certain characters in the game, like LeBlanc, Akshan, Zed, these characters, you feel like you have to kill them multiple times to kill them once because they're so just goofy. Super, super gimmicky. Like, you, you definitely work harder to kill certain characters than others. Like, killing an ADC? Not really. That's just one character. Killing LeBlanc with the 50,000 dashes, the bullshit passive. Like, rooting you from full screen. Just a bunch of dumb shit. It's like, yeah, I put the work in. It's pretty obnoxious. Lockshan well, is fundamentally broken because he has the kit of multiple characters. Just like Cassante. Oh, nice. Like, if this guy wasn't playing Akshan, the game would be different. The only reason he's oppressing me is because he is Akshan. It's just champion diff type of deal for lane phase, at least, for now. Can't really do anything. Well, if we do scale, I think it's winnable, but I don't know if so. I don't think we can scale. Well, I mean, Ezreal isn't... If we're talking about this game in particular, Ezreal isn't 100% wrong. Karthus hasn't ganked a lane, and all lanes have been pushed. Like... Mid lane is a bad matchup. I automatically lose lane solely based on who I'm playing. But the jungle's job is not to win lane, but to remedy things. You know, build leads where you can. So if you've got a bunch of people kind of pushing the team in and you decide to clear waves instead of, like, gank, it is kind of a problem. Like, sure, we can't really do much here. Like, Gangplank will never outpush an auction. He'll never control the lane unless he gets a lead somehow. But. 
just takes a bit. I'm not going to forfeit. Maybe we scale. If we don't, we don't. If we do, we do. I wish I actually had taken that. I wanted to kill Kaisa, but she's not even on a killing spree, despite seven kills. I believe we can win. Honestly, I do think we can, unironically. All it takes is a few good team fights and scaling, and the game is doomed for them. Really? I'm two off call. I've got like a, a 2,500 back. Not even 25, almost 3k actually. 27? Chill, brother, chill. Nice. Karthus is getting very fed, too, and their whole team is relatively squishy. Udyr is full-blown AP with literally no damage. So, I don't think I'd be worried... I need 13, though. If I get 13, I can maybe outplay Akshan. Before that, I auto-lose. Brain's kind of griefing. I have no idea. Crown of the Shattered Queen? I have no clue. Probably some Freljordian thing. Most likely a Freljordian thing. You dare slack on my ship? Feel better soon, brother. JB next, thanks, man. Yeah, today I actually feel much better. Yesterday I felt like garbage, but I don't know what it was. Maybe just oversleeping or something. Feels a bit better today. Thank you, buddy. I've never seen this. It's it was like a one day illness, and then after the one day illness, it was pretty chill. I do think Udyr is pretty useless here, actually. It's just Akshan is too gimmicky. It's very hard to beat that character properly. I'm 
I gotta go LDR. Uh, I think I go Tobby's this game, so Auction doesn't insta-delete me. And then I just sell this, and I do this, and I think that's fine. We'll get him. I kind of misplayed. I should have just whooped uh, barrels at him, but... Nice. <laughs> I didn't realize Karthus was ulting. I was kind of ready to just go after him, but apparently he did. I didn't even see Akshan. Gotta go LDR. Still need it. 944. We can murder top line. Bro is going B though. To do. Get on it. Yo, Neb, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Thank you, buddy. Man's gifting subscriptions. Serve or die. I don't care if the others like you. I think I actually just murdered this guy, I'm not gonna lie. Get to work! Little bit of a misplay, but whatever, he's dead. <laughs> the, the problem with killing people like that is you have to just save your barrels for passive resets. You can't just start whipping them out. Like, you typically just don't want to explode them with Qs. Alright, not bad. Well, there's nothing of interest on the map right now, so maybe we get to farm inhibs for a little bit. Maybe. Auction's top. We can fight. We win this, actually.
Well, we should have won that. <laughs> All right. Never mind. The base is kind of dying. Can Brand ult minions? Is that a thing? Not that you would maybe want to, but like, can he do that? Brand can ult minions, really. Interesting. I guess it's some sort of like tech, eh? Because it kind of bounces. Time is it right now? 3 p.m. Well, they want the final inhib. Well, you know who actually voices uh, Jax is the same guy who voiced him prior. I don't think they usually do that. But I think that guy in particular, they've worked with so much. I don't even know if he works for Riot Games. Maybe he does. But that guy is... Um, he's been around quite a bit. Which is cool to see the same voice Everything actor being you know, appreciated. Yo, Neb, thank you, man. Yeah, he did Draven. What was his name? I feel like I should know his name, but I guess I just don't. Eric Bra. That's his name, yep. Yeah, I know it is. Maybe we somehow clutch this game, but good luck. <laughs> good luck. Three waves of supers. Baron to super minions. Kind of grief that wasn't looking, but I guess it doesn't matter. The game is so fucked. Yeah, it is what it is. I don't think there was a way to win that if everyone kind of, um, like falling behind is okay, but when it came down to like team fights and shit, 